Hi yogis, welcome to All Aligned. I am Jessica. Today I have for you a prenatal back and hips stretch. This will be just a quick stretch to really help ease any sort of low back, any hip pain. Those seem to be the two areas that really feel the effects of pregnancy the most. And although we won't be able to completely get rid of that pain and discomfort, probably until after the baby comes, at least for now, a little gentle stretching will definitely help feel a little bit better. Now, all we need today, I would recommend having a couple blocks. Those are really the best things to have during pregnancy. And I recommend having a pillow or a bolster, something that you can lean back on at the end so you're not laying flat on your back. All right, let's get all aligned and get started. All right, today we're gonna actually start standing at the top of our mat. And before we get into any stretches, I first want us to think about our posture and bring a little bit of attention to our core. So as you go along throughout your pregnancy, obviously there's gonna be a lot more weight down here in your belly. And that's just gonna automatically cause us to kind of let the belly come forward, our butt will stick out a little. You'll notice a bigger arch in the back. And that's really one of the main reasons why we're getting that low back pain. Our core is a little bit weaker. Things are stretching out around the hips, our muscles, our ligaments, just to create space. But because of that, it causes our posture to get off just a little bit. So while you're standing here at the top of your mat, I want you to take a moment Gently draw your belly or your baby inward, kind of back towards your spine just a little bit. Think about tucking the tailbone down slightly and just a little engagement in your glutes. And you might already notice by doing that, that should relieve a little bit of tension from the low back. So again, normally a lot of us are probably here so hug your baby in, tuck the tailbone just a little bit, little engagement of those glutes, standing tall. So this is just a nice reminder throughout the day, maybe you're on a walk, maybe you're standing in line in the grocery store and you start to notice that back hurting a little bit, think about your core. Hug baby in and gently tuck the tailbone. All right, so continue to keep that slight engagement in the core just a little bit here. Just take a big breath in through the nose, reach those arms up to the sky, full body stretch, lengthen the tailbone down. And on an exhale, start to fold forward. And you can have those feet out wide as comfortable here, definitely wider than the hips. Generous bend in the knees. Maybe your hands can still reach towards the floor. Maybe use blocks to bring the ground a little bit closer up towards you. Or just grab a hold of those elbows. Let gravity do all the work here. Belly towards your thighs. Chin in towards your chest. Feel that tension slowly release out your back. Taking deep breath here, breathing into your low back, Creating a little more space. Let's take one more breath. And on your next inhale, just start to lift up halfway. 
lengthening out through the spine here again blocks can be really helpful or maybe place your palms on your thighs again hug your baby up towards your spine lengthen out through the tailbone here reach your heart forward take one more inhale breath and then exhale fold Grabbing a hold of your blocks, start to walk those hands forward and just reaching far as you can. Keep that weight in your heels, bend into the knees. And just feel that length from the arms all the way down the back. Imagine someone gently pulling your hips back, but someone else is pulling your arms forward. Couple deep breaths here, filling up on your inhale and empty out on your exhale. Take one more breath and then go ahead and walk those hands back underneath the shoulders here. One more time, just lift up halfway, find that length, hug your baby in, maybe straighten those legs out a little bit more, heart forward, and then exhale, soften and fold. Now with those feet wider than the hips, toes come out, heels in, let's lower down yogi squat. Start to get into those hips here. A couple different options. If the heels lift off the mat, that's perfectly fine. Maybe those heels come down, tailbone heavy. You can lift up through the heart. Option as well is to take your block, place it under the sit bones, and just have a seat. So taking away that strength here, and really just focus on the stretch. If you want to feel those elbows pressing into your inner thighs, maybe the palms come together. Lift up through the heart and just bring your attention back to your breath. One more breath here. Let the hands come down in front of you. A little bit of strength in the legs here. Start to lift those hips. Straightening out the legs. You can walk the feet in, shake it out just a little bit. Let your hands come to your hips. Nice and slow. Take your time to gently roll up. Your head is the last to lift. All right, from here, go ahead and turn to face one of the long sides of your mat. Walk those feet out wider than your hips. And then start to fold forward. Take a moment at first here. Just find what feels good. Maybe bending into one leg and then the other. Maybe grab those elbows again. Just hang heavy. Let Gravity, gently pull you down. And then keep your right hand down on your mat. Hug your baby inward and then find a little twist as you reach your left arm to the sky. Gentle twists are a great way to help ease any mild low back pain, just finding that little stretch, a little bit of movement down the spine. Take one more breath and then switch left hand down, reach that right arm tall, opening up. and bring your hand back down to the floor and from your forward fold just bring your hands to your hips 
Press down through the feet. Take your time to roll all the way up. We're gonna come into a Skandasana variation. Option number one here is just start to bend into that right leg just a little bit. Rest your hands on your thigh. Maybe lift up those left toes. Feel a nice little stretch into that inner left thigh here. You can find your full Skandasana, so lowering the sit bones towards the floor. That right heel might have to lift up and left toes point up to the ceiling. Another option, just open up a little, reach your left arm towards the sky. I know if you're further along in your pregnancy, getting down this low and then back up might be more of a challenge. So just stay in that first variation. And take one more breath. Moving to the other side, back through center. Again, maybe just a little bend into that left leg, press into that right heel, or your full skandasana, sit bones towards the floor. Reach that right arm tall, open up. One more breath. Bring it back to center here. We'll just meet standing up nice and tall. Take your time and then step back up to the top of your mat. Big breath in as you reach up and exhale, melt it down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Let's step it back, downward facing dog. Walking the hands or the feet back towards the back of your mat. Tailbone reaching up to the sky. Hug your baby in. Press down through the fingertips. Round down through the heels, even if they're not actually touching the floor, that's okay. Take one more breath. And then gently lower knees to mat. Walk your hands underneath your shoulders. Take a moment just to sway those hips a little from side to side. Meeting back in center here on an inhale. Drop the belly just slightly, focusing more on Reaching the heart forward, lengthen the tailbone back. And then exhale, tuck your tailbone, round your back, chin to your chest. Again, inhale, drop the belly slightly, heart forward, shoulders back. Exhale, round, hug your baby in, push away from your mat. Two more times here, move with your breath. And coming back to your neutral spine. Big toes come together, knees out wide as comfortable. Find your child's pose. Maybe you're coming all the way down to the mat. Maybe you rest your forehead on a block. Just let your hips feel heavy. Take a couple deep breaths here. Expanding and breathing into your rib cage in every direction. Front to back, side to side. Filling up on your inhale and empty out on your exhale. One more breath. Take your time to push yourself up. 
Let's just find a seat here. So go ahead and swing those legs around. You can start with both legs straight out in front of you. If needed, maybe sitting up on a blanket or even sitting up on a bolster if that feels more comfortable. But we're just gonna get into our outer thighs a little bit here. So take your right ankle and rest it on top of your left thigh. For some of you, this might be enough right here. You should be feeling a little stretch into that right hip, right glute. Keep your foot flexed and maybe just gently press that right thigh down towards the mat. If you want a little deeper stretch, you can lean back and start to bend into that left leg as much as you can or as much as your belly allows you to. But just think about pushing that right thigh away from your body. One more breath and we'll release switching sides start with your left ankle over the right thigh and may, maybe you stay right here just sit up nice and tall or lean back bend into that right leg as much as comfortable as much as your belly allows you to but really be active here with the lower body so you're flexing your left foot, actively moving your left thigh away from your body. here to windshield wiper the knees from side to side. We will now set up for our final pose here, our reclined bound angle. So this is where a pillow or a bolster would feel best here, especially if you're further along in your pregnancy and you shouldn't be laying flat on your back. If you don't have a pillow or a bolster, you could always just come up right against the wall so you have that support from the wall, but find a butterfly shape with the legs. So that's one option as well. But if you do have that pillow or bolster, go ahead and prop one end up so it's at an angle here. Sitting in front of your bolster, go ahead and lay back. And then with the soles of the feet together, let the knees drop out wide. Now before pregnancy, this was always one of my favorite poses. It just feels so good. But now, especially during pregnancy, I love it even more. It feels so nice to have that support along the back. It's a nice way to just gently open up the chest and the shoulders and then just getting that nice stretch into the hips here. So just let the weight of your body melt down. Your arms taking up space at your sides. Just bringing your attention back to your breath. up your belly, filling up your chest. If this starts to feel too uncomfortable for the hips, another great option that feels nice on the low back 
is walking the feet out wide and just let the knees come together to touch. This is your chance to really tune into your body. Just observing those changes. Breathing into any sensation. this moment to just honor and appreciate your body for all that it's doing for you, for creating this life inside of you. Just giving yourself moments here to just slow down. Soak it all in. Be proud of what your body can do. as you can, as long as you need. Thank you so much for joining me, for getting all aligned. Until next time, namaste.